and welcome back to Katie's Kingdom. I'm here with another packing video for you today, as you may be able to tell. Uh, we are heading to Key West with my in-laws for a week and we're gonna have a really nice beach pool vacation, lots of uh, whining and dining and uh, relaxing. So this is gonna be a little bit different than packing for a theme park vacation. A lot of the things will still be the same because my style of packing is pretty consistent. However, uh, to Key West, you can only bring one suitcase per person. So it'll be a little bit toned down and I tried to do a little bit of uh, scaling back on the things I was bringing and of course I'm not packing any mini Mickey ears and uh, costumes or any sort of Disney uh, stuff that I usually bring so it's a little bit less than last time and a few of you on my channel uh, had shown some interest in my packing videos and so this is for you guys uh, if you enjoyed my last packing video it'll be mostly similar uh, but slightly altered for just a beach vacation. And Jackson and I are also heading to my parents' house in Anna Maria Island right from Key West. So we're actually gonna be gone for about two weeks, which doesn't really make a huge difference in the amount of things that I packed because I have uh, washer and dryer access at both places that I'm gonna be. But um, yeah, here it is. It's uh, packing for myself and my three-year-old son for a beach and pool vacation to Florida. I also just wanna share some quick tips with you about how I pack and the process that I use to go about starting to pack and pre-packing and all that stuff. So the very th first thing that I do, I used to write a list and now I just basically write little notes of things that I can't pack right away but that I need to grab in the morning and put in suitcases or carry-ons. So if I need to do any of that, as I'm going through uh, everything, I will just write myself a note and I'll put it like in the place that I will see it before I uh, leave the house. So for instance, uh, my son is in a, on antibiotics right now because he had a slight ear infection a few days ago, uh, almost a week ago, so he's fine. But I have a little note to myself that uh, I need to pack his medication and I put that like in his shoe by the front door. So little things like that would be my first tip. Um, if you know you need something that you can't pack, just write it down. If you want, you can do a list or little post-it notes, whatever works for you. Um, but as for me and my list making, uh, I have long ago sort of just foregone the list making because it's basically always the same stuff that I need and I just kind of have it in here and I've got a, a mental process that I use. But the second thing that I do when I'm getting ready to pack is to put out the clothes that I want to wear on the airplane and the clothes that I want to wear when I get to my destination. So it is uh, the end of November here in Buffalo, New York, and I'm going to have to wear some warm clothes to get onto the plane. And when I get to Key West, it's going to be really hot. So I have to have a, a separate outfit. I want to have some shorts and uh, some flip flops when I get there. So those are the things that I p pull out and put aside right away. I always like to um, do that for me and Jackson. For Jackson, we are leaving our flights at 6 a.m. So we're leaving the house at about 4, 4.30 in the morning. So he is going to wear what he's gonna wear on the airplane to bed. He's just gonna wear pajamas. So it's even more important to put those things aside so that if my husband gets him ready for bed, he'll know which pajamas I would like him to wear on the airplane. So I have already done that step and this is what I like to wear on the airplane. I like to wear uh, you know, sneakers, tennis shoes on the airplane because it's comfortable and also because you can wear socks and so if you have to take your shoes off through security, you have socks on. So I never like to wear um, the flip-flops, even if it's warm out on the airplane. Um, and then just a comfortable shirt. I always wear just um, comfortable leggings. Sorry, I don't know why this isn't focusing. And this is my new thing to wear on the airplane. I wear this um, sort of comfortable jacket. It's by um, Lucky Brand. And it has these really great pockets in the front. Like they're very deep and they're great for putting my phone and my ID into the pocket. So because I wear leggings, I usually don't have any pockets and it's hard to kind of have my ID 
and my boarding pass out. So I really love that jacket. That's my new, my newest travel hack. And this will be the second trip that I wear that jacket to the airport. And I really like it. Then I can take it off if I want to, or if I'm cold, I can just drape it over myself. And uh, I also have the tank top on underneath in case it's hot on the airplane. And uh, so that's what I like to wear on the airplane. So that is step number one. For step number two, I usually take out all of my uh, toiletry bags and fill those. I keep them semi-packed because we travel so often, but I always like to go through it and make sure I have um, the amounts of things that I want. And if I'm doing anything new or different, then I switch those out. Um, and then I do the non-clothing items, which are like beach stuff. I'll go in and show you what's in these things, but um, beach stuff, we've got a lot of rain stuff because um, it's supposed to be a little bit rainy while we're there. Um, and I'll go through all of this, but that's step number two, or yeah, I guess step number two uh, would be to get all my toiletries ready and then all of my non-clothing items. Step number three, I usually go into Jackson's room and pack him because he's quite frankly a lot easier to pack for. I don't have to try anything on uh, for him and I just pack what we need depending on what type of vacation it is. Um, this vacation, he we're going to be staying at a resort with a pool and we're also going to be going out on a boat in Key West. So I brought his life jacket and his swim vest. And I also pack his toiletries as well. But I'll go through those in more detail, but this is just kind of my pre-packing steps. Um, the next, so the next thing that I do usually is uh, go through my purse. What you take whatever purse that I'm going to be using, and this is the purse that I've been, I've been using in my regular life. So I've got my little Santa uh, hand sanitizer holder, um, and I take everything out of my purse, and then I repack my purse for uh, the trip and things that I need. So uh, I could go into more detail with that, but that is my next step. And then the step after that is to pull out all of my things that I am going to be putting on my in my carry-on. So um, then I go through and decide what I'm going to be taking in my carry-on, which is generally always the same stuff, which I will go through in more detail. But that's the next step. I lost count of what my steps were. The last step is I go into my closet and I try everything on and then I pack everything into packet cubes uh, depending on type of clothing that it is and so once I'm done with that oh and also I, I already took them and put them in my carry-on uh, backpack but I always charge my devices while I'm doing all of that and that is my pre-packing strategy so that is what I'm left with and then I'll go ahead and go show you uh, what's in everything and what I've actually packed so I'm bringing four dresses with me this time of varying weights, uh, some that are for really hot weather and some that are, you know, for the evenings that might be a little bit cooler, but this is nice strapless dress, um, very, very casual, but cute from Lily Pulitzer. I also have um, this dress that I wore in Disney uh, a few weeks ago with the little cutout sleeves and that's pretty cute. It's, it is like almost a flannel material, so this would be for an evening that wasn't super hot. Uh, and then my my go-to plain old black dress by Cloth and Stone that looks a little bit uh, linty. I'll have to take care of that when I get there, but I bring a lint brush with me. Uh, and this is just like your typical plain black t-shirt dress. Oh my gosh, so much lint. Uh, and then one like light, this is really lightweight, um, like almost sheer material with like a sheath underneath. Um, and this is a maxi dress and the the material underneath is sort of like a mini dress and then the maxi goes all the way to the floor. So that's really pretty and also easy to wear and comfortable, but looks pretty dressed up. And then this is just a kind of an over shirt. When I get to Anna Maria, it's supposed to be a little bit cooler than Key West because it's farther north and this is nice for layering and just um, being comfy and cute when it's not super hot and I can always take this off and wear whatever I'm wearing underneath. So that's what I like to do. And I always put my hang up stuff in a garment bag. I 
zip it in the garment bag, and then I fold it in the top of my suitcase, and that way I have easy access to it. As soon as I get to where I'm going, I can take everything out and put it right in the closet very easily. You know what, I'm off my game a little bit because my husband just burst in and was being silly, and now he's like right behind me in the bathroom. <laughs> but I'm gonna try and keep going here like that never happened. Uh, so. I put all of my clothes in packet cubes to keep them organized and also to keep them from getting too wrinkly and getting thrown around in the suitcase. And it is a practice that I highly recommend for everybody. If you don't use packet cubes, you need to start. I can't say enough about them. So this packet cube has um, my very comfy stuff and my pajamas. So I'm going to be doing a lot of lounging and I want it to be comfortable. I have my Key West Spirit jersey, a pair of really comfortable just like legging pants that I wouldn't wear out of the house, uh, a pair of pajama pants, and a um, pajama nightgown. So a couple options for pajamas and uh, loungewear that I wear just inside the condo. Uh, over here I have my shoes that I'm bringing. I'm bringing a pair of a very comfortable walkable pair of black flip-flops and then I have a tan pair that I'm wearing when we get off the airplane and then I have a little more dressed up um, pair of black uh, flip-flops and then white flip-flops and these would just be for like those slightly nicer outfits and then these would be for doing like a huge walk about uh, but I like to have both color options in both styles, and that's just how I'm comfortable. But other than that, that's the only shoes I'm bringing aside from my tennis shoes that I'm wearing on the plane. Uh, my undergarments, which, you know, I pack plenty, but I will be able to do laundry as well. And then my shirts, I have some um, just regular old shirts this time, and not uh, Disney related, although these two are Disney related. These are, um, shirts by Blair Lamb Design, who is a very sweet woman that I enjoy watching on YouTube, and um, I just like them, so I don't care that they're Disney related, I wear them all the time. I've got just some comfortable, really, um, you know, comfy sort of graphic tees. Um, this one is a, a Christmas t-shirt. We, um, time out. So, as I have said already, we are not going to Disney. However, my parents live in Anna Maria Island, which is just off uh, the west coast of Florida, very close to Tampa. So uh, we may be going, Jackson and myself and my mom and dad may be going to Busch Gardens one day if the weather is not perfect for uh, beaching. And um, so if we do that, we're gonna do the Christmas Village and I'm really excited to see all those things and uh, enjoy those festivities. So I brought my um, Christmas t-shirt just in case we go to Busch Gardens to meet Santa and go to the Christmas Village. Anyway, back to my shirts. Um, and then I have like a nicer sort of going out like fun shirt if we, Justin and I usually go out to um, the bars and stuff um, one night while we're at, in Key West and his parents uh, will babysit Jackson. So it's some, some cute sort of those kind of clothes. And then these um, top ones are like respectable sort of clothes that I'll wear with um, shorts that are not like jean shorts, which I'll show you right now. Here are my shorts. I've got this nice pair of chino like um, mint green shorts, my Lily Pulitzer shorts. These things are nice for like those medium times where I don't want to wear a dress, but I still want to look sort of put together. Um, and then for the rest of life, which, you know, I'm usually in cut off denim shorts. And then I've got another pair of leggings just because I get worried. I just live in my leggings and what if one of them get ripped or something? So I have two, um, a pair of jeans, like long jeans in case it is cold, mostly um, for in Anna Marie, I think it's gonna be cooler. And my je denim jacket, which looks really nice on top of um, dresses and stuff in case um, it's just a little bit cool in the evening. Then over here I have my bathing suits. I brought three this trip, uh, two cover-ups, and a pair of um, like all rubber shoes uh, that I could wear to the pool and to the beach. There is nothing worse than going to the beach and having worn your like Sanuk sandals. These I have these yoga mat sandals, which I love, but if you wear them to the beach, you will never get the sand out of them. So I make sure I wear um, sandals that are completely rubber uh, to the beach. That's another, I'd say like hack that's sort of important to me and I think is interesting. So maybe it'll help you. Then I always bring my, um, bag. What is this called? You know, laundry bag, 
my dirty clothes bag. This is an extra pair of sunglasses for Jackson and an extra pair of sunglasses for me. I also have two, our two pairs of sunglasses over there in my purse that we can just grab out as soon as we get to our destination because we cannot live without our sunglasses when it's sunny in Florida. Uh, I brought an extra uh, handbag because I might not always want to use the one I have mainly that I'm using is like a mini backpack. So if I want just a small bag, I've got that one. I'm bringing um, one of these insulated like coffee um, mugs. And that is because um, as a mother, I feel like you never, ever, ever, ever get to drink your coffee hot if you put it in a regular cup. So <laughs> even if I'm just drinking coffee at home, I always put it in one of these and that way it stays hot for like a little while. So if I get distracted 800 times while I'm drinking my coffee, it'll stay hot. And also for tea at night, I can use that too. Um, this is just some comfort items I brought for the nighttime. Um, this is my gratitude journal, which I like to journal in in the evening. It's very soothing. My book light, because uh, Justin and I share a room and he cannot tolerate the light on if he wants the light off. And so I use a book light if I want to keep reading. Um, my like foot and hand cream that I do sort of like a ritual before bed. And same thing, my Cutica um, cuticle lotion, cream, and a pen. And then the book that I'm reading, which is Michelle Obama's new book, which I'm loving. And that's all the stuff that I need in the evening time. And I just put it in this so I could just take this out and put it right next to the bed and I'll have everything I need. Okay, these are my toiletries. And I know it might look a little ridiculous about how many toiletries I bring, but I think some of you can probably relate. And this is my hair things, my like main bag of toiletries with everything I need for my face and my teeth and you know all that stuff and then this is everything that I like to have for in the shower because we're not going to a hotel uh, we are going to a timeshare condo and then my parents like residence I have to bring um, all my you know stuff my shampoo and conditioner and soap and all that stuff so I'm gonna do a video separate video on these things because I said I was going to last time and I didn't and that stuff is just interesting to me so maybe it'll be interesting to one of you I'm also bringing this um, gift that I'm giving to my cousin's baby for his first Christmas his name is Kieran and he's so sweet and I haven't met him yet so I'm excited we're gonna meet him when we're in uh, at my parents house and I just brought everything I need to wrap this I'm not gonna wrap it now because it'll get all you know wrinkly and and stuff um, but my parents come to our house for Christmas. Long story long, my parents come to our house for Christmas so they wouldn't have any Christmas wrapping supplies and I don't wanna have to like run out to the store before I see her so um, I just want everything there so I'm ready. Uh, this is just my hat that I'm gonna bring for being by the pool and the beach. It's important not to get too much sun on your face, ladies. And this is everything that I always bring with me to the pool or the beach. So these are um, a plastic pair of uh, sunglasses this is hard uh, plastic pair of sunglasses for myself and for Jackson so our good sunglasses don't get uh, scratched especially at the beach it's easy to get sand and everything so I recommend plastic sunglasses at the beach uh, Jackson's sunscreen which we always use and this is the sunscreen that I like good, good camera angles here um, this is just some sunscreen of Justin's, which he will pack his own, but I know he always forgets this stuff when we actually get to the pool, so I pack some for him. Uh, a little brush and a hair tie. This is just some more sunscreen for me because my other thing is almost empty. And some hand sanitizer in case we eat something while we're at the pool or beach. And then this is just a little bag of like essentials. Um, extra contact lenses and um, SPF uh, lip chapstick and you know the, the good old things and this is something that I can put my phone in if I want to use it if I'm like really close to the water although it doesn't work very well so I usually don't use that but in a pinch or an emergency there are times that it would be useful it doesn't take up a lot of room so this is stuff I always pack the same way uh, when I'm going to somewhere with a pool or beach and it's always this stuff in here and this is a wet bag a lot of times I'll take Jackson's bathing suit off because he doesn't like to be in a wet bathing suit as soon as he gets out of the pool he's ready to change so I bring the wet bag to put the wet clothes in and then this is my beach bag I've showed it before but it's the Jujube uh, 
I don't remember what it's called, but it's a wonderful bag. I have gotten so much use out of it. I've had it for years and years and it holds up really well and it's machine washable. I also bring our water uh, containers. We just can't live without these. I fill them up every day, every night. We're just constantly drinking water out of these and uh, that's a must have for us. And then here are all of my rain gear things in case it rains. Um, the ponchos are basically just for uh, if we go to bush gardens and it rains. I would not really wear a poncho like in real life or in QS. I think that'd be kind of silly, but I did bring two umbrellas and a rain jacket for Jackson and a rain jacket for me. I want to show you this. I got this from Pretty Little Monograms. Um, they have an Instagram, but I think they have their own website and it's super popular amongst the like Disney community. And it is just gorgeous. Like I'm so happy with it. It doesn't have my monogram on it, oddly enough, but um, it has the castle and it's like this beautiful rose gold color and it fits really nice and I'm excited to wear that. So if it rains, I don't mind. I'll get to use my new raincoat. Okay, over here are Jackson's toiletries. This is just, um, you know, just in case Tylenol, liquid Tylenol, um, liquid cough medicine, uh, his toothpaste, toothbrush, and his, um, you know, baby shampoo. Um, and that's basically all that he's got in there. And, you know, the little things like nail clipper. Um, what I showed already is both of our um, flotation devices for the various water activities we're going to be doing and then two hats one is for land and one is for water this one can get wet and um, in this when we're in Florida I have a hat on him most of the time because um, children's skin is just so sensitive and just like to keep the sun off his face um, I brought he's gonna wear another pair of sneakers but I'm afraid of a pair of sneakers getting wet um, cause you know, he's a kid and he like steps in puddles and who wants to wear wet sneakers? So I brought a second pair of sneakers, um, his like walking, um, sandals and also his flip flops for the beach. Um, these are super helpful to have when you're at the beach because you can just like kick them off and like easily put them on himself. Anyway, beach stuff. Okay. So this is everything that he's going to wear for the entire trip. I just kind of put it all in one big thing because um, it just works for us. We put it in one drawer and this is all his stuff. So I have um, two outfits that are like nice sort of going out to a fancier restaurant outfits like a collar with a shirt or collar with a shirt, a shirt with a collar and underpants. Uh, these are t-shirts. I tried to scale back on both of us like bringing too many clothes so I think I brought him like six t-shirts uh just one hoodie two long sleeve shirts um what is this two pairs of pants because um it might be a little cooler like I said these are his water shoes in Key West um the beach is really really rocky and his feet are sensitive so he's gonna wear these like right into the water I guess he could, I guess he could use these, but they, then they'd be ruined because they're not like plastic. They're like a fabric. So, so going to the Key West beach, he'd be wearing these. That's, I guess that's the difference. The Key West beach, he'd be wearing these at my parents' beach with like the white, beautiful sand. He'd be wearing these long story about footwear for my three-year-old, but maybe it'll be helpful to one of you. I don't know. Um, two pairs, two bathing suits. Um, the bottoms and the shirts and two pairs of um, pajamas and socks then I brought this this was actually something really handy that we bought recently this is a travel hungry hungry hippos and it's like completely self-contained you cannot lose the balls and it's a fun thing to play if we're like at the breakfast table or something he can play and then I brought this um, play pack another thing to kind of keep him occupied in the condo if He'd like to do some drawing. I'm going to quickly go through what I put in our carry-ons because this is essentially mostly the same as uh, my other video, which is a more in-depth look at what's in our carry-ons. But um, this is toiletries that I need to carry with me on the airplane. So things that I cannot like replace. So my Invisalign, um, my eyeglasses, and a bunch of extra pairs of contacts in case like I, my contacts weren't to arrive, I would have five days to get replacement contacts. So that's all that's in there. 
Um, these are just all of my various chargers. I put everything in there. This I'm going to put the um, Jackson I mentioned is on uh, antibiotics. It's like a liquid, you know, the, the like bubblegum tasting gross pink stuff um, but this is insulated and that stuff has to be kept cold not like not, it's not super serious but I'd like to keep it as cold as I can in transit so I'm actually going to use this cute little Mickey thing I got at Target um, and I'm going to put the medicine in there so it stays cold these are my flip-flops and my shorts that I'm going to change into my prescription medications my um, makeup which I fit all of my makeup this time into this smaller, usually I carry like a giant makeup case and I fit all my makeup in here and those are my makeup brushes, my camera bag, my camera will be in there and that's all going to go into um, my carry-on suitcase. Justin took my other carry-on suitcase for himself um, so I got left with the less than ideal one but that's okay um, and then we're going to have Duffy which is this little blanket that I showed in a haul video that I recently did. My computer is going to go in here, and this is Jackson's backpack. Um, real quick, if you haven't seen my what's in my carry-on bag video, um, I like to take backpacks inside the carry-on suitcases, and the backpacks contain stuff that you need for while you're in flight, like on the airplane, like all your activities that you want to do on the airplane. So that way, you have just one bag, the carry-on suitcase, uh, while you're going through security and everything, but then when you get onto the airplane You can just pull out your backpack and that's what you can store under your seat. So I think it's a really great um, System that I've got going and um, so that's what we do But I have already explained that in another video, but in case you didn't know um, Highly recommend using that system because it's worked great for us. This is what's in Jackson's backpack. He um, I do give him a bottle fill of milk still while he's on the airplane. He is three um, but it is good for his ears so I let him have it and he likes it. Uh, these are the cozy phones. I think I mentioned them last time but I didn't know how well they worked because it was my first time using them. They work really good. We got them on Amazon and it's like this little headband and um, it's earphones so he can lay his head down and it's like a little more cozy than regular headphones. Uh, his iPad will go in here. He's using it right now and then it's going to charge and then it's going to go in here. Uh, two books, actually three books that he hasn't seen before. Well, he's seen Corduroy, but the other two he hasn't seen before, uh, that are really like take up no space in their, uh, paperback books. And then this thing, I want to show you this because this is a really great plane, airplane idea for, um, a young child. So I'm going to show you. Okay. So this is called bookie board and my mother-in-law got it for him on QVC and it's amazing. What a good idea. Um, so it is, um, like a drawing thing so I'm left-handed I'm holding the camera in my left hand so don't mind this but so you draw in it and it makes these cute rainbow like colors and then if you want to erase it you just push the button it's like electronic and then you can put these things behind it and like do all sorts of games and learning and activities um, with the things they, they go like they go like inside the board you know and then you can draw on it um, but what a good idea for an airplane. I'm excited to use this on the airplane. I think Jackson's gonna love it. And then lastly, this is my backpack that goes inside the carry-on. This will also be my backpack if we go to the theme park. So I'm double dutying that. Uh, and I have my Kindle, Jackson's, well, I fill this out for Jackson and I write a little bit about each trip that we take um, on airplanes for um, you know, for his whole life. So I've got that that I fill out on the airplane, either on the way there or on the way back, sometimes both. Um, my comfortable big headphones in case I want to do some editing or watch a movie, and my iPad, and I have loaded up three movies on there to watch. So I've got plenty to do. If I want to be productive, I will grab my computer out and I'll do editing. And if I want to just be unproductive, I'll either read or watch a movie. So once you have the hard part of the pre-packing done, it is uh, very, very easy to actually pack inside these suitcases. So I'm going to do that now. I've only got two suitcases, remember, because uh, when you fly to Key West, because it's such a short runway onto the island, uh, there's like a weight limit. I guess that's my understanding of it. Yeah, uh, because it's a short runway uh, on the air in the airport at Key West, you're only allowed one suitcase no matter what. Um, I don't even think you can pay for a second suitcase or if you can, it's like ridiculously expensive and it's like, why do you need so much stuff in Key West? It's an island, like calm down. Um, but 
So you, I'm only packing two, so I'm gonna pack right now and make sure that everything fits into our two suitcases um, and I'll show you how it goes. Okay, I did it. This is what it looks like all packed. Uh, as you can see, that sort of loose stuff goes nicely in these compartments. These are both uh, Samsonite luggages, Samsonite pieces of luggage. I think they're 28 inches. They're the biggest, maybe 30. Um, and I always get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and they get a good deal on them, about $100 a piece. This is how I do my hang up clothes, which works really well. And then with the packing cubes, you can see that everything just sort of fits really nicely, like a little puzzle. And everything's organized and snug as a bug in a rug in there. Um, that was cute, corny. Um, but yeah, that's mine. And then Jackson's actually has a ton of space left over, which is good because um, another thing I would recommend that I don't have anymore because mine recently broke and I keep forgetting to get a new one is the luggage scale because, you know, you can only go up to 50 pounds. I think this will be okay, but if it's not, um, I can always transfer like that. Maybe I'll just put the um, clothes, the hang-up clothes right in here and uh, I'll be good to go. And then I just put everything that I could in our... Um, carry-ons to make sure it would fit which it does um, but a lot a few things I still need to like actually put in there like my computer and Jackson's iPad and his medication and stuff that I need for tomorrow like my um, like my makeup but for the most part I am done so that's it I hope you enjoyed my what you pack for a Florida vacation video and I hope it wasn't too redundant for you from my last one but I love these types of videos like I said before I'm, I'm a little flush I'm a little red in the cheeks and ears and stuff um, it was a lot to get all that stuff in there but anyway I really love um, these types of videos um, my first videos that I started watching on YouTube I think were packing videos it's totally my um, hobby I guess you would say to um, be a good packer and be ready for vacation and to take the stress out of it because packing for vacation used to get me really stressed out and now I actually look forward to it. So I hope um, some of these tips would be helpful to you and I'd love to hear where you guys are going if anybody is taking a trip to Florida. I'd love to hear what parts of this, if any, were helpful to any of you because a couple of you left uh, very kind messages on my last video and it means the world to me. Like, this is a weird thing to start to do and it's like, you know, obviously my channel is very small, but even if I help like two or three of you or one of you, uh, it really means a lot and I feel like I'm doing something good and I enjoy doing it. So thank you if you've commented and if you would like to chat with me, I'm always happy to respond to the comments and I love hearing from you guys. So I will leave you and we're off tomorrow morning at 4.30 to go to Key West and then to Anna Maria. And um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night. Bye.